Sustainable forestry is thought of as a set of concepts that guides the management of the forest to make sure that you're not losing some of those goods and services that forests provide, whether it's drinking water or wood products or jobs or endangered species habitat. And you, you take it as a set of measures of you know, making sure that you're not impacting soil productivity or any of these other uh, facets of forestry. Our approach to sustainable forestry really comes down to managing um, for the desired attributes in a given area. So for our example on our north coast of California where a lot of it is focused on endangered species habitat for spotted owls and coho salmon and that means restoring the streams. I love getting the question of why, as an environmentalist, you're cutting trees because it does seem sort of counterintuitive on the surface. Um, and I'd say there's three components to an answer to that. Um, the first is an ecological one, which is forests are dynamic. Um, they've been managed for generations now and they're oftentimes in sort of unnatural conditions. And by going in and actively harvesting, reintroducing fire, other things like that, you can get them back to more natural conditions, get them growing faster, things like that. The second um, is the financial aspect of it. Uh, generating wood products that are valuable to society pays you money as a landowner. And that's money that, as the conservation fund, we can go invest in restoration projects, into fixing streams, into improving our infrastructure. And so it's a very valuable source of revenue for us that then ties back into our conservation outcomes. And the third aspect of it, I would argue, is kind of a big picture question. As a society, we're going to continue to build houses and print on paper, and it needs to come from somewhere. And I would much rather have it come from well-managed forests in the U.S. than be outsourced to some place that doesn't have um, stringent environmental regulations. Taken as a whole, it's larger than the auto industry in terms of the number of jobs that are provided working as loggers in the woods or um, working in sawmills, paper mills, things like that. So it's really important to recognize these are very valuable jobs, especially in rural areas. They pay good wages, they have good benefits. Um, and so you know, we think of the forest industry as something that is really important in, in kind of you know, states like Oregon but it's also the largest manufacturing sector in Georgia and in Maine and a few other states like that. Um, so that's why states are starting to pay attention to forest conservation as an economic development strategy. Um, it's not just about you know, the environment and protecting habitat for owls and woodpeckers and things like that, but it's also a way of maintaining a way of life and maintaining rural communities.